welcome to cookwithpooja.com. Today I'm going to share a recipe which is very dear to me. I have inherited this from my mother. It's chana masala or chole masala, loved by lots of people across the world. So are you ready? Then let's start cooking. For making chana masala or chole masala, we need one cup of chickpeas that is chana, two onions finely chopped, tomato puree made out of three tomatoes. You can simply blend the tomatoes in a blender, thinly sliced ginger, finely chopped green chilies and fresh coriander, and two bay leaves. Also, we need cardamom, two to three cardamom, one to two star anise, three to four black pepper corns, three to four cloves few dried pomegranate seeds, pinch of baking soda and two tea bags. Also we need is a cinnamon stick. If you don't find it, you can use cinnamon grounded just like I'm using it. In spices, we need one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of grounded cumin seeds that is cumin powder, one teaspoon of green mango powder that is amchur, half a teaspoon of black salt, half a teaspoon of normal salt, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder and this is chana masala or chole masala, 2 teaspoons of that. You can find this at any Indian or Asian grocery store. Still if you are unable to find it, no issues, replace it with 1 teaspoon of garam masala. That's it with the ingredients, let's start preparing it. The second and most important step is boiling chole. So let me just tell you what all we need to do and take care while we are boiling the chanas. Take a muslin cloth or any porous cloth like this. To that I am going to add the grounded spices, cardamom, black peppercorns, star anise, cloves and anardana. And if you are adding a cinnamon stick, half a stick you have to add it at this point. And I am going to tie a knot now. Tie a knot to make it a bundle like this. This along with 1 teaspoon of salt, pinch of baking soda and 2 tea bags. And as I am not adding the cinnamon stick, I am going to add just a little bit of cinnamon grounded powder. That's all is going to go inside the pressure cooker along with my soaked chanas. And I am going to pressure cook it for 4 to 5 whistles. That's it. I have already boiled my chole and look at the perfect color that has come out. Separate the chole from the boiled water and don't discard it as it has all the flavors of spices and chole in it. We are going to use it in the gravy. So let's prepare the gravy In the pan, add about 3 tablespoons of oil and to that I am going to add cumin seeds, bay leaves and thinly sliced or chopped ginger. Once the cumin seeds start to change the color, I am going to add the chopped onions. And we are going to cook until they are golden brown in color. It's been 3 minutes since I am cooking the onions. The color has changed. At this point, I will add very little red chilli powder, about 1 4th a teaspoon. And 1 4th a teaspoon of coriander powder. And mix well. After cooking the onions for one more minute, I am going to add the tomato puree and the green chilies and mix well. We will cook the tomatoes for three minutes. I will add spices. Again, half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, black salt, half a teaspoon and amchur powder, one teaspoon and mix well and cook it for 3 minutes. Our gravy is perfect now. Tomato is perfectly cooked. Just mash it a bit with the spatula itself and you can get a thick and smooth gravy like this. Now I will add the boiled chole to it. After adding the chole, give it a mix. After mixing them, I am going to add one masala that is chole masala. Again, I am repeating if you don't get it, no issues. Replace these two teaspoons of chole masala with garam masala, one teaspoon. So that's fine. After that, I am going to add one of the most important ingredients that is grounded cumin powder. 
If you get it ready made well, well and good, otherwise no problem. Just dry roast the cumin seeds on a tawa or a griddle. After that just ground it to a coarse powder. That will also be. Then give it a good mix and cook these chole for 2 more minutes. And we are good to go after that. Now we'll add the cooking stock. Slowly we'll add. Depending upon how thick or thin the gravy we need. As I am going to eat it with puri, I am not going to add too much of cooking stock. If you want to have it with rice or something or you like the thin gravy, add a little bit more of the cooking stock. And bring it to a boil. Our chole is completely cooked. An awesome aroma is coming out. Wow! Now the last step will be to take out some of the chickpeas into a bowl. Not much, just about very little of them and I am going to mash them a bit. Why I am going to mash it is, this will enhance the texture of the gravy and also thicken it a bit more. So it looks more tasty while eating. This is how it looks after mashing them. Now I am going to add it to the gravy. This halfly mashed chole will actually thick my gravy and look awesome. And see, our chole is ready to be served. Just garnish it with fresh coriander and serve it. My chole masala is ready. I hope you like this recipe. Do try this at home and let me know how it turned out for you. For complete note of ingredients and procedure, have a look at the recipe at cookwithpooja.com. Till then, this is Pooja signing off and you don't forget to subscribe us at cookwithpooja.com and like us on facebook.com. Bye-bye.